welcome back. Today we are going to be building an app to track our trailblazer journey. So this is going to be a six part app building experience. Um, on this first part out of six parts, we are just basically learning about the different jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. This one's pretty simple as far as going on to the next part, but it has some really good information about the different roles that you can play um, within the Salesforce ecosystem. So, and just for this, we need to launch our Trailhead Playground, which we've done in the second tab. So let's click Verify Step to earn an easy 100 points. All right, we have our first 100 points. We are gonna do part one and two in this video, um, just because the first part's super simple, and so is the second. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna create our object model. So we will be creating a new object for this, and it'll be called Discovery. So let's go to our org. We're gonna go up and hit the gear, go to setup to hit the back end. Object Manager, we're going to create a new object. And this one is going to be Discovery. You can see it's already there. Discoveries. Um, now let's see. We're going to keep the data type. We're going to allow reports. We'll be making a report later. Um, and we're going to launch the new tab custom wizard after saving this. So we are going to save. The next part, we are going to make a tab for it. So let's click tabs. I think that a compass looks pretty good for discoveries. All right, we're going to click next, next, and save. All right, and that's what I believe is it for this section. So we hit verify. All right, another easy 100 points. Please hit subscribe and that like button and stay tuned for part three of build an app to track your trailblazer journey. Thanks for watching. To part three out of six for building an app to track your trailblazer journey. In this video, we are going to go to number three. We are going to create some custom fields. So let's go ahead and check these out. Let's see, we'll be creating three new custom fields. Um, one for type, one for URL, and one for notes. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go, we're already in our object discovery, which you found in your object manager. So let's go to fields and relationships. We're gonna go to new. This first one is gonna be a pick list. And this it says, allows users to select a value from a list that you define. And most of us have used a pick list before. So nothing new, it's gonna be type and we're gonna enter values and separate it by a space. We're actually gonna go back and copy this list. So we're gonna go website, blog, event, podcast group, etc. These are the values that we are going to enter for type of discovery. And we're gonna require this. So let's hit next, next, and save and new because we have two more to go. So this next one is gonna be a URL pick list. And this allows users to enter valid website addresses. This one is going to be called um, link, super simple. And we're gonna hit next, next. That one does not need to be required by the way. And when we go save new, we got one more coming. We are going to go for custom field that is notes. So we're gonna go for text area long. Go next. This one's gonna be notes. 
So we're going to keep visible lines to three. And the same thing for this one. We're going to go next, next, and we're going to save. Let's go back, validate that you've done everything, and then verify the step. All right, another easy 100 points. We are halfway through with building an app to track our trailblazer journey. Please join me back for part four. To part four of build an app to track your trailblazer journey. Let's go ahead and click on it, get started. In this part, we're going to be creating our app within Salesforce and then also adding our new discovery records. So let's go ahead and jump into our org. We are in the object manager right now under discovery, but we need to go home so we can hit the quick find and go to app manager. And this is going to be a new lightning app. The name will be my trail laser journey and the description is going to say tracking my discoveries the salesforce ecosystem all right we're going to click next be careful with spelling here just because it is a little tricky. We're gonna to go to navigation items is our first thing that we're gonna add. We're gonna go find discoveries and click it over. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to add is reports. And lastly, we're gonna to want to add dashboards. Let's click next and we're going to add three profiles. We're going to add the system administrator, whoops, going to add the standard user and also the standard platform user. Platform differs from standard user um, in the way of licensing and we can go into that in a different video because it can get a little complicated. All right, we hit save and finish. So we need to click these three by three dots in the corner and look for our app. Click on it. All right, we are on the discoveries tab up here within our My Trailblazer Journey app. So we're gonna add Let's see, three new records to this. So the first one is going to be Trailhead. This is a website. For this, we're just gonna have trailhead.com. I'm gonna hit save a new. Oops, maybe I had the wrong one. There we go. There's our first one. Second one we're gonna go for is Trailblazer community groups. And this type will be a group. I'm actually going to copy and paste the link from our instructions page. All right, save a new. We got one more. Going trail blazer blog post. Whoops. Gonna hit blog. Again, go back to our instructions. Down to link this medium article. I'm gonna link it, hit save. Go back to instructions, make sure that we did everything that it asked us to, and verify for another 100 easy points.
All right, thank you for joining me for part four out of five for building an app to track your trailblazer journey. Please join me back for the next video, which is part number to part five out of six of build an app to track your trailblazer journey. We are gonna head in to create a report, create a report chart, and a dashboard to track your progress. Those are the three things we're gonna be building here in this step. First, we need to build our report. So let's head over to our org. We last left off with our discovery. So let's head to reports, click new report. I'm gonna type in this box, discoveries, click continue. We're gonna add our field types that we've added. So we're gonna go our Let's see, we're gonna add our link, our type, and our notes column. So, we're going to, actually, we're gonna add a report group type. There we go, we're gonna group it by our type. We're going to click save and we're going to call this new discoveries report and the description is going to be a summary of my career exploration discoveries all right, we're gonna save this. And then we're gonna run it. All right, that's part one. Let's go to the next step. Add chart. This one is gonna be a donut chart. And the chart title is going to be discoveries by type. And it's gonna be record count. And we're gonna click this little carrot and hit save. All right, now that we've made our report and our little donut chart, we're gonna click dashboards. We're gonna to go to new dashboard. Of course, we're gonna name it my discoveries. Description is my career exploration discoveries dashboard. That is a mouthful. Create new component. So we're gonna click that little plus component. We're gonna go new discoveries report. And select. We're gonna wanna go for the gauge. And then we're gonna edit this so then it goes into five digit increments. So then it goes zero, five, 10, 15. And don't worry if it looks a little skewed. We are going to click add. All right, we have one more component that we're gonna add. Same report, click select. This one is going to be a bar chart. And we're gonna click add. We're gonna drag it, oops, drag it a little too far. Drag, drag, I don't know right next to that one. All right, and we're gonna click save and done. All right, let's go back to our instructions and validate that we've done everything. And let's click verify step. All right, so this often happens where we get a problem. It says we could not find a report chart with the title discovery by type. So let's go to report charts. This was step two. Let's go back to our report. We're gonna troubleshoot this. 
And you know what happened? I hit discoveries. This is why you need to be careful with your naming conventions and validate that you actually name it what they want you to name it. So click verify again. And there's a hundred easy points with the exception of that one error that we hit by adding a plural instead of a singular. So this has been part five out of six for build an app to track your trailblazer journey. Please join me back for the sixth and all right, welcome back to part six out of six of build an app to track your trailblazer journey. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so this part is all about bringing the app on the go to your mobile device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our org and from where we left off, we're gonna go to setup. We're gonna go under here, under users tab and click users. And you're going to create an email for yourself. And since, or a user record, and since I already have a user record, I'm going to click edit. And it says I do have a Salesforce license and I am the CEO. So we are going to click save if the Salesforce platform license, or the Salesforce license wasn't available. You'd go to Salesforce platform license, which is a downgraded license, and then you'd have the profile of... Salesforce platform user. So since we hit save, um, the next thing we would do is it would generate a new email or it would generate an email, a new password, excuse me, via email. You'd reset your password um, and then you'd install the mobile app on your phone, um, which I'm not going to do here now, but you can do it. And then you'd log in via your username which can be found back here, right here, which is in the form of an email. And then you'd log in and you'd be able to see your app. So I'm gonna click verify since I've already done this step. And there we go. We have gotten our new build an app to track your trailblazer bird journey badge. Thank you for joining me. Please check out my channel for other videos. Click subscribe and the like button. It really helps me out. So 